sunny November. Episode 4 What is it? I'm not sure I like the way you talk to me. I am made here, not your servant. Well, you can talk to me in any way you like. How old are you? 30. <laughs> what? Come on. Anyway, the champagne and the fruits are for you, so sit down and help yourself. Thank you. We aren't allowed to drink on the job. Besides, your father has given all the staff a warning regarding you, Mr. Lomakin Jr. Has he? What exactly did he say? He told us not to be pushovers and ignore your proposals and whims. I see. Well, I was going to throw a party tonight at 10. I also plan to invite you. Miss, will you come, please? I don't like parties. As a waitress. Then, I'm paying well. Okay. I wouldn't say yes, but I have kids to provide for. You mean you have kids? Yes. How many? Three. Thirty years old. Three kids. Looks like a student. I'm in shock. Oksana, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It was my mistake. Okay, please? I have an idea for the engagement party. Okay. I have a friend whom I met in the States, so he owns a hotel in Yuri. It's a big luxurious place, so I thought, why don't we celebrate there? <laughs> Easy. Yes, please. When are you going to call him? I'm afraid it's too late to call now, but I'll talk to him tomorrow. I love it when you're like this. Like what? Nice. Well, his daddy was right. <gasps> Tanya. Quiet, keep it down. What are you doing here? What do you think? A night with the new boss? Please don't tell Marina or she'll fire me, okay? I had no idea someone was in here. He's sleeping like a log. By the way, did you like the party? He plays well, right? I don't know, I was working. He's a darling, and in bed, meow, erg. Okay, I'll be quick. No answer, he's probably still asleep.
Yes, who is it? It's me, Kirillo. Remember me? Kirillo? <laughs> it's good that you called. I'm sorry if I woke you up. No, 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 no worries. My throat is dry. That's all. Let me drink some water. I've just came back from the States, and I'd like to meet and discuss something. What do you say? Keep talking. I'm listening. So, when are you free? It can't be true. Too much of a coincidence. Hey! Hey, what about the cleaning? Clean my room. Mom, baby. I missed you so much. I missed you too. What a nice house. Leave your bag here. Well, how was your flight? Awful. It was the worst flight in my life. Really? How do you feel now? You look so pale. Mom, don't ask. Oh, where's Kirillo? He's inside. Kirillo, come outside. Mom is here. Do you want tea or coffee? I've had breakfast. When did you say his show opens? In a week. What are you doing after that? We haven't decided yet. He wants to find his sister first. The one who caused his parents' divorce. Well, yes, they. Hi. Hi, thank you for bringing my daughter here. My dear, I was just asking her how long you'll stay here. Mom, we're going to announce our engagement soon. We've even chosen the location. Yes. How wonderful, great news. And you didn't even tell me. Well, Shall we go inside? Yes, come on in. I'll give you a tour. Thanks. Was your husband upset about you coming home late? He wasn't. It's my job. If you aren't happy with your pay, I can give you more? No, thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a present for your kids. Give me a sec. I brought it from the States. The teddy, too. No, Mum gave it to me when I was three. It's just a pretty ball they can play with in the lake or in the pool. We don't have a pool. So bring your kids here to the hotel. I don't mind. <laughs> I would come to the States for it. Of course, but anyway, it's so nice that you've decided to celebrate your engagement here. Maybe the wedding, too. Yes, probably. You know how fragile Oksana is. Every flight is a stress for her. Did she have a panic attack this time, by the way? Something like that. I had it hard with her when she was a kid. You wouldn't believe it. There isn't a children's disease she hadn't contracted. It was awful. Yes, my poor lamb. And now this. No, no, Kirillo, don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming you. Kirillo? Will the food be ready soon? Watch it, the knife. I'm hungry. Have patience, little bird. It will be ready in 15 minutes. Can you make it faster? How about a carrot? Yes, a carrot with sour cream, but I want it grated. Okay. Anything else? 
Tanya, please tell me this. Have you read your contract before signing it? Yes, I have. You have? So you must be able to tell me the name of the place where you work. The Dream Lagoon. And it is. Point a hotel. A hotel. Thanks. Nina, a hotel, not a brothel. How could you sleep with your boss? Do you realize how you have blemished our reputation? Now everyone will think that our entire staff consists of whores. What did I do? By the way, it was him who made a move. It's not him I, it's Mr. Lomaking. First of all. Second, he started it isn't an excuse. And third, you're fired, Tanya. Sit down and write your notice. You know, everyone is doing it. Right. I wonder who everyone is. Is it Nina? Sainya? Katya? Who? Better thank me for letting you leave on your own accord instead of firing you with no recommendations. Okay, what is this? A present. Oh God, one maid is a whore. Another plays ball. I'll be damned. Did you rat me out? Tanya, are you nuts? I'm sorry. I know you couldn't have. It's just, I don't know who could tell on me. We were alone in there. No one saw me. Well, Kirillo, how do you like it here? I love it. The lighting isn't first class, of course, but don't worry, I'll think of something. Listen, they've mailed the reports. I need them printed out. Hi. I'm glad to see you. Hi, Alina, this is my husband, Kirillo Petrovsky. Nice to see you. I've heard a lot about you. It's a pleasure. I hope we will be able to make your show a top event. Great. Speaking about top events, my husband and I have noticed some things that might be a problem. Can we discuss them? Sure, follow me. Kirillo, take a look around. Hi. What's wrong with you? Did you tell the manager that you were with Tanya last night? What? Oh, Marina? Yes, Marina. Right. She asked me this morning if I was happy with everything here. I said I was, especially with the maids, well, something along these lines. Tanya was fired because of you. Come on, we are free people in a free country, you, me, Tanya. Sleeping with a girl and then ratting her out to her boss? Don't you think it's low? No, no, I didn't rat anyone out, I just made a joke. You just made a joke, and Tanya just got fired. This Marina, eh, a vice squad, do you want me to fire her? Who the hell does she think she is? I'm the big boss here. Listen, if you have at least some decency, please make sure Tanya keeps her job at this hotel. Come on. Wait, I get it. I'm not an idiot. Really? I wouldn't tell. Kirillo, your huge portrait will be here. Get down. Why? Because that's how Nina almost died. Hey, what happened? What did I do wrong this time? Oksana, why do you call me your husband when talking to strange people? You said this word at least a hundred times. What am I to call you? We are engaged. We aren't engaged. You mean you might change your mind? I mean the engagement hasn't happened yet. All right. How am I to introduce you to people? Kirillo Petrovsky. What's wrong with that, Kirillo Petrovsky? So you don't want me to mention our relationship? Why mention our relationship? We are here on business, Oksana. Kirillo, I'm really sorry. I don't know what got into me.
So your new boss is Lamakin's son. A willful, spoiled child. And I don't think he's smart. Oh God, how is he going to run the entire hotel? How do I know? Mom, I don't give a damn. You're right. Your job is to clean the rooms. Did he pay you well for that waitressing gig? Suppose he did. Why are you asking? Could you give me some to go visit Kolya? Mom, tell me, don't you understand that we can't spend all the money on your cigarettes and visiting Kolya in jail? We need to pay the rent. Do you realize that we might get evicted or not? Why don't we cancel the shrink and take back the money you've paid her? No, you're going to the therapist. I need to bring him so food. At least, he is starving there. Hey, enough of this chit-chat. The truck drivers are waiting. They are unhappy with the wait. We're coming, we're coming. And clean up my office. This is a pigsty. Well, as for the restaurant, we work with local suppliers, right? Yes, mostly. These are the water and electricity bills. Oh my God, we're paying too much. We'll need to find ways to save on it. You know, Marina, why don't we pick it up tomorrow? Whatever you say, Mitro. And one more thing. <clears throat> It's about that maid, Tanya. Don't fire her, okay? I shouldn't have told you. I understand. Of course, but her actions still were. I was very insistent. You see, girls find it hard to resist my charm. And last night I was in the zone. I can't deny it. You are a first grade DJ. Is it your hobby? Well, something like that. I'm glad you liked it. I'm so sad. Why are you sad? Everything is fine. Just the way you want it. I love you so, so much. And I feel that you aren't happy with me. Me? No. I just keep thinking about Nina and... I must find her. Have you tried social networks? You've asked already. She isn't on any. Kids, how about dinner? Mom! I don't feel well right now. Bring it here. Okay. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. How many more are there? Wow, it'll take till morning. Go back to work. How will we get home? Don't even. Anything else? What else can you offer, babe? We have chicken with rice, vegetable salad, pasta with weenies, and there's some Vorschmack left. Get me the salad and the rice, I guess. Then we'll see. And I'll have pasta with a weenie. <laughs> Couldn't you wait till we get served? I'm sorry.
I'll be right back. Are you mad at me, babe? Why? We could have a good time. Have a couple drinks, then take a walk to my car. Is it your first time or what? Get your hands off me. Easy, easy, relax, easy. I said take your hands off me. What the? Are you okay? He isn't your husband. Is he? Let's go. <laughs> Guys, enough. They've brought your rice. I should exercise more. I don't have time for it. Otherwise, I'd have shown them. I have no doubts. Easy. Easy. Almost there. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here. Where is the first aid kit? In the cabinet. Okay. You need to go to the doctor. No, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. What if your nose is broken? No, when it gets broken, it hurts more, trust me. You have a checkered past, ah? Eh? Yes, people sometimes hit me in the face. I have some experience. What brought you to that diner anyway? I went on a ride around your eve. Took a look at its vicinities. Nina, are you happy with your husband? I am, I am. Too bad. I'd gladly help you. Untie the knot. Nina, who is your husband? What is he doing? Why are you asking? Well, you work a lot, the hotel, the diner, you work like a horse. And what does he do? Stays at home with your kids. Do you feel any better? Yes, a lot. Then I'll go. What do you mean? What if I get worse? You can abandon me just like this. Good night. And thank you. You are a hero. Come on, anyone would do the same in my place. Do you need a ride? No. The Dream Lagoon.
Cry Huri Yakovlevic. Hello. Kirillo Petrovsky, so nice to see you. What brings you here? I thought you were in the US. Hello. Hi. I came back. I'm having an art show here. Here. I'll be glad if you make it. The time and the place, it's all in there. Thank you, I'll try. So you are a famous painter now. I'm sorry. I don't know much about the art world. I don't know about famous, but I am a painter, yes. That's good, you want to come in? Next time, I, I wanted to ask you, Nina, has she come to school? Your sister? Yes. I haven't seen her since the day you all went abroad, or rather since your prom. Do you know anything about her? Well, that's strange, I thought she went with you. Yes, she did back then, but then, she came back, okay. Sorry for bothering you, goodbye. We're having a party tonight. A party? Yes. Cool. That's what Yehorov calls it. It's actually just a booze session. By the way, you don't have to be there. He has hired waiters on the side. Isn't that great? I'll have a night off today. Yes, and you shouldn't waste it. What do you mean? Go somewhere with a friend, or better yet, with a guy yesterday. This Matro seemed to me a nice guy, a real man, you know. He's a teddy bear. Come on, he stood up for you. There aren't many guys like him around nowadays. Yes, that's all very nice. Except I don't like him. She doesn't like him. You'll end up an old maiden if you don't change your ways. What if I want to live with you? Do you mind? Of course I don't, Nina. Remember, you're going to the therapist today. Right, I remember, I remember. No, I can't do that. As God is my witness, I'm not doing it for myself. Hi. Nina, I didn't get fired. Marina said it was the boss's personal request. That's great. I'm happy for you. And for myself, by the way, I like working with you. I think he likes me. Oh, God. Why else would he stand up for me? Tanya, I'm telling you, he likes me. You know, it would be nice to start dating him. He's smart, handsome, rich, a boyfriend of my dream, right? Maybe he'll even propose to me one day. Such things happen, right? Yes. Until then, though, back to work. Okay, see you. Bye. Singing, white roses, white roses. Watch it. I don't understand why you're doing it. I always thought you preferred your flowers and vases. I have two, Mom. Kirillo says they had always had pot plants around the house, and he liked it. It was Nina who took care of them. Do you ever talk about anything besides Nina? 
Of course we do. I think it'll stop when he finds her. But he hasn't yet, right. It will happen sooner or later. She couldn't have just disappeared. Listen, it doesn't look that bad. Right. Maybe now Kirilo will praise me. You're trying so hard to please him. Although maybe you're right. Men like it when you share their tastes and obsessions, then they start to think that you two are really close. We have a meeting at three, did you forget? Yes, I forgot. I'll be right back, okay? Nice. Yes. Come on in. Meaning? You're here to clean, right? Yes. I'll join you. Why? I'll explain, come in. I'm the CEO. I need to understand how this hotel works to study the entire mechanism. You understand? I'm not sure I do. I want to see everything and, more importantly, take part in all processes. Today, it's room cleaning. Tomorrow, I'm going to the restaurant to watch how the kitchen works, study the menu. Next, it will be the laundry service, and so on. Well, yes, I understand now. Well, you're, you're right, I guess. Where do we start? Well, since you have the vacuum, maybe you could do that, and I'll wipe the dust. Okay. May I? Yes. Did you and Oksana have a fight? I don't think so. Then why is she crying again? I don't know. Maybe it's her mood. I believe you're too abrupt with her, Kirilo. I don't think I am. Still, you should be gentler with her, please, because if she makes another attempt, I don't think I can survive it. Listen, I, I'm doing my best not to upset her with anything, but I can't just hide all my thoughts. I know, Kirilo. I know that. And still, I'm asking you to be gentler with her. Please do that. I'll try. So you are studying hotel management in America? Right. But only because my father insisted. It all seemed to me incredibly dull, in theory. I mean, in real life it proved to be much more fun. Do you like your work? I'm not going to be a maid all my life, of course. What would you like to do? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Nina, I'm sorry, but at your age moist people would have already. Dmitro, it's not just about age. Hi, Dmitro. Are you a maid now? Hello, Miss Tanya. So I'm a miss now, after everything that happened. This is a first for me. Thanks to you, I finished my shift early. Now you see it. I'm a miracle. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Nina, considering that, luckily, you now have a little spare time. Why don't we go somewhere? I'm sorry, I can't. Then maybe I could take you home.
drive you home. I mean, where do you live? Mr. Lomakin. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Larissa. Hi, darling. Why are you crying? No, no, it's my allergies. They make my eyes red and watery. I see. I'm so sorry. How are you doing anyway? Fine. We are getting ready for the engagement. You'll come, right? I don't know. I'll try. Have you already found a venue? Right. You don't know yet. We found a great place. It's like a spa. Cool. Great. Where is it? In Yuriev, Kirillo's friend owns a hotel there. Yuriev. Is that friend's name Dmitro, by any chance? Dmitro, yes. Actually, it is. And his last name is Lomagin. Shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just that Dmitro was my first boyfriend, my first love. Actually, he and Kirillo met through me. I told you about that, don't you remember? The guy you pined over so hard. Yes. It's going to be so much fun. Larissa, you must come. Yes, sure. Larissa, why are you up so early? Your pills. God, I forgot. Daddy, I need to leave. Where to? Oksana and Kirillo's engagement. They asked me to be there, almost begged me. She has persuaded him after all. Pressed him into it. How long will you be away? I don't know, maybe a few days. I see. Okay, go. Give them my congratulations. Of course. Just come back soon, you know I can't do without you. Of course. Yes, finally. Mom, you? Did you go to Kolya after all? Yes, Nina, I did. I'm sorry, I took some money to buy him food. Don't worry, I didn't take it all. Mom, I asked you not to. Why does it keep happening? Do you remember we need to make a loan payment tomorrow? We'll think of something. I don't understand it. It can't go on like this. Why do we both have to work like dogs to support Kolya? You know how he suffers in jail? Do you remember how he got there, mommy? Nina. The guests are here, but the fiancé is absent. Bonjour, Mr. Lomagin. You're dressed to the nines today. Is it your birthday? My friend and his fiancée are having an engagement party at our hotel. I came out to welcome them. I see. Have a nice party. Thanks. See how he looks at you? That's how he looks at everyone. No, you better believe me. It's just you. I'm too young for him. I'll explain later.
Kirilo. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Dream Lagoon Hotel. What a name. Oksana, don't be picky. It's a nice name. You're going to like it. Please meet my fiancé and her mother. Valentina. Mitro. And the fiancé's sister, Larissa. Nice to meet you. Girls, get to work. You look fantastic. Thanks, so do you. Thanks. Hi, Dmitro. Are you afraid of me? No, why? I just didn't expect to see you. Why wouldn't you? I'm Kirilo's sister. Oksana is my friend. It's only natural that I was invited. But your parents aren't here, are they? That's different. They are divorced and absorbed with their squabbling. They are having too much fun that they don't need a party. Let's have a drink. I don't feel like it. Funny. You never declined a drink before. That was before. Now is different. What changed? Excuse me. Hello, Nina. Nina. It's Mitro. I mean, Mr. Lomakin. Why are you panting? Is something wrong? Yes, no, listen. What are you doing right now? Working, obviously. Can you come down to the lobby? It's urgent. Something horrible and irreversible has happened. Okay. I should have worn the red dress. I look silly. You look great. Stop it. You're like the beauty in there, hunk. The restaurant is that way. Thanks, Mitro. Are you waiting for someone? Yes, I'll be right with you. Okay. Yes. Can you just tell me what's happening? I love you, you're shocked. Right, so am I. I've never fallen in love before. I just saw what I wanted and took it. Then I get sick of the girl or bored, and I dump them. But with you, it's different. You barely know me. No, I feel as if I knew you all my life. I don't care if you are married with kids. I'll fight for you anyway. It won't work. I'll try anyway. Excuse me, I need to get back to work. <laughs> 